What's going on guys? Big Mike, the 717 Outlaw here with you today. Quick little uh, informative video that I wanted to put out here because people have been asking me a lot uh, ever since we did my last upgrade on the Busa, which was putting in the LED accent kit and the mirror block offs. First off, the mirror block offs, I will admit are one somewhat illegal feature just because I didn't add bar end mirrors onto the bike. So technically speaking, it is a slightly illegal mod for the bike. However, a lot of people have been saying that the LED kits are illegal, which actually for a motorcycle, the LED kits are perfectly fine as long as it is not uh, strobing or changing colors in any way while you're riding. If you're at a show and you have the bike parked, go ahead and let it go. But if you're cruising down the street, down the highway, something like that, you are legally unable to um, have strobing lights or things like that. But the big thing I did with the LED kit was, one, it gives a whole different characteristic to the bike, which any of you that are new to the channel, um, I'll actually throw this little clip in here. Uh, this is the LED kit that we put on my 2012 Hayabusa. This is a, a $40 Amazon kit. Uh, company is really good. The LED kit's been holding up great. Um, but here you go, let's check it out and then I'll explain a little bit more in a second. That was the kit that we put on my 2012 Hayabusa. So now pretty much the big things that you need to know about these kits. One, they are not illegal as long as you do not do the strobing effects or the light changing that I showed you. If you keep it a solid color like this blue, which honestly is probably one of my favorite colors with this bike, this is perfectly legal to drive as is. A lot of bikes do this nowadays. Some people think that it's illegal, but honestly, there is one key feature, and this is the other thing that you need to know about this. It is a cheap safety option for your motorcycle. Um, a lot of people that I know get them. One, it adds characteristic to the bike, which the Busa, it adds a whole different characteristic to it compared to what it was being bone stock or anything like that. But it is a safety feature. A lot of people are like, well, what safety feature? It seems more like a distraction to other drivers. It actually lets other drivers know you're there. At night, people can't really tell what's coming at them, what's coming behind them, or what could be in their blind spot. If you have, I'm not saying go overboard with lights, like uh, make your bike a glowing sun coming down the road, but these lights can actually make it a lot easier for other drivers to see you, and it honestly makes it safer to ride. I've had a lot of people before that have merged into a lane at night because they can't see the can't see the bike well, but it's just it's a good safety feature to have because it helps you be more pronounced of a presence in uh, in the eyes of an automotive driver. Now, honestly, that's about it with these. I just wanted to stress that these kits are not illegal. Uh, they're fairly cheap to get and it adds a new characteristic to your vehicle of choice and it adds a really nice safety feature that looks pretty cool honestly but i hope that this is informative to you guys uh i know i've i took a little bit of time off on doing videos i went up to camp for the weekend left the gopros at home uh just kind of went up to have a nice relaxing weekend get away from work and things like that but we're going to be getting back into the videos. I'm actually considering about getting an LED kit for cornbread. We are still in the works for a 6-2 Society show, probably here in November. Um, we actually do have the Pennsylvania Wounded Warriors are going to be the beneficiaries of the show. 
but I think we're going to be changing it up and going with more of a donation base instead of charging people to enter their vehicles. Uh, I'm starting to think that we're just going to do like a cars and coffee, set up a donation booth, um, and we're going to have 6-2 Society merchandise there, and we're going to have a huge percentage of that merchandise is going to go straight into the uh, Wounded Warriors donation. Um, we're really hoping to make this big. I'm going to try and get some people out there for it. I'm still in the works with the township, and we're really trying to push to make 6-2 Society a 100% legal uh, car group. So that way we can start making it a nonprofit to get donations from people that cannot make it and submitting it right back into those charities uh, that the show was to benefit. But anyway, hope you guys liked the video. If you do, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to drop any comments. If you want to know anything more on my bike, on any of the parts that I do, check the description down below. I have links to every person that I've bought parts from for this bike, and they've been a huge help to making it what it is now. Go ahead and check them out. Don't forget to subscribe. Also, hit that little bell next to that for notifications on the newest videos that will be coming out. And I'll catch you guys on the next upload. Remember, ride safe, ride smart, always wear a helmet. See ya. Yeah. Mm -hmm.